My soul is filled with joy as I sing to God my Savior. You have looked upon your servant. You have visited your people and holy is your name. people you have chosen, and holy is your name. I am holy as a child, but I know from this day forward that my name will be remembered for Blessed, I proclaim the power of God. You do marvels for your servants, though you scatter the proud hearted and destroy the might of princes. To the hungry, you give food, send the rich away empty in your mercy. You of the people you have chosen in your love you now fulfill what you promised to your people I will praise you Lord my Savior everlasting is your mercy and holy is your name through all generations Everlasting is your mercy to the people you have chosen, and holy is your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. When our risen Lord appeared to his disciples on Easter Sunday, he said, Peace be with you. We can be confident that he desires this same peace for all the members of his body, the church, and for the people of the entire world. In this difficult time, we turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and Queen of Peace, to ask that she intercede with her Son, for all those who are affected in any way by this pandemic. As we renew the consecration of our parish communities of St. Patrick and St. Boniface and of ourselves to the Mother of God, we implore her maternal care for her children. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exulting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he, took, then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. As we gather today for this time of prayer and consecration to the Blessed Virgin Mary, I want to thank Julie Roth, our Director of Worship, uh, for the parish of St. Patrick, uh, for being here, as well as Mr. Nathan Sturzel, who is our principal 
for our associate pastor, uh, Father Stephen Reeves, and for our three deacons, um, as we know, two of the best in the diocese, uh, <laughs> Deacon Scott, Deacon Greg, and Deacon Mark. So thank you all very much for being here. Uh, we do gather together today at this invitation of Jesus to welcome Mary into our homes. When we begin Mass each week, I start by saying, welcome home. This is the place where God draws his people into not just this physical space or the space at St. Boniface, but into the very heart of the church, into relationship with God. And Mary becomes our mother as she is the mother of God and the mother of the church. May we take this opportunity to renew the relationship with Jesus through his mother, that we may open our own homes to her presence and open our hearts to the love that is the love of the Holy Family. May God bless our parish communities. And as we kind of make this moment significant in each of our families, it begins something new. To me, it's felt like we've been going through a whole journey with the coronavirus and with all the pandemic and the, the struggles and the changes and the difficulties and the economic realities, and, and the list goes on and on with all the real impact that this has had in our lives. But there is something new beginning, some new direction that God can call each of us to and call our communities of St. Patrick and St. Boniface to. So we open our hearts in a special way to the love of Mary, our mother, to begin something new in our hearts, in our homes, and in our parish communities. May Mary intercede for us. May she always be the example of saying yes to God when he calls. And may she always draw us in deeper union with her son, Jesus Christ. Recalling Jesus' words as he hung on the cross, Behold your mother. We meditate on the fifth sorrowful mystery of the rosary, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us, us this day our, our daily, daily bread. bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and into the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, the Jesus. Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, full of grace, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Let us now entrust our parish communities and ourselves once again to the Virgin Mary's care. Most Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, you are the fairest fruit of God's redeeming love. You sing of the Father's mercy and accompany us with the Mother's love. In this time of pandemic, we come to you, our sign of sure hope and comfort. Today, we renew the act of consecration and entrustment carried out by those who have gone before us. With the love of a mother and handmaid, embrace the parish communities of St. Patrick and St. Boniface, which we entrust and consecrate once again to you, together with ourselves and our families. In a special way, we commend to you those particularly in need of your maternal love. Mary, health of the sick, sign of health, of healing, and of divine hope for the sick, we entrust to you all who are infected with the coronavirus. Mary, mother of consolation, who console with the mother's love all who turn to you, we entrust to you all those who have lost loved ones in this pandemic. Mary, help of Christians, who come to our rescue in every trial, we entrust to your loving protection all caregivers. Mary, Queen and Mother of Mercy, who embrace all those who call upon your help in their distress, we entrust to you all who are suffering in any way from the pandemic. Mary, Seat of Wisdom, who were so wonderfully filled with the light of truth, we entrust to you all who are working to find a cure to this pandemic. Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, who gave yourself wholeheartedly to God's plan for the renewing of all things in Christ, we entrust to you all leaders and policymakers. Accept with the benevolence of a mother the act of consecration that we make today with confidence and help us to be your son's instruments for the healing and salvation of our country and the world. Mary, mother of the church, you are enthroned as queen at your son's right hand. We ask your intercession for the needs of our country, that every desire for good may be blessed and strengthened that faith may be revived and nourished, hope sustained and enlightened, charity awakened and animated. Guide us, we pray, along the path of holiness. Mary, our mother, bring everyone under your protection and entrust everyone to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we conclude this consecration, we ask the blessing of Almighty God. Let us pray. Bestow the grace of your kindness upon your supplicant people, O Lord, that formed by you, their creator, and restored by you, their sustainer, through your constant action, they may be saved. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Regina Celi Letare, Alleluia, Queen.
Amen. 